Outside Phil and his day off. Use money. It's not. It's really not. And in life, if that's how you go through life, just thinking that about all your whole life, you're going to be very sad. Most people are going to be very upset because not everyone is going to be a giant, huge celebrity, successful, rolling in money or whatever. That just doesn't exist for most people on Earth. So for people to think of... Phil at one point was rolling in money. He had loads of YouTube views. He was riding high at the top of the game on YouTube and he spoiled it all by being a racist online. So... That even on YouTube. That's absolutely I mean, that wasn't ridiculous. wasn't the only thing that he did that was bad, but that got him in, in the most trouble. And also is the thing that I find most egregious. The, the, the belligerent and consistent racism calling people Chicky Chang Wang if they're Chinese. A Chinese person comes on the screen, oh, do you want some pork fried rice? That sort of level of racism. To my opinion, I basically talked a lot about my life and my experiences and stuff like that. I hope you'll give that a look if you haven't yet. Um, I haven't really checked views or anything on anything on my day off. I was so busy yesterday, which we're about to talk about in a moment. It was a super busy day for me. Cool, cool, cool. Sippy, sippy. But it was meaningful to me to talk about that stuff with you guys. So I hope you'll check out the chill session we did from uh, Wednesday night, okay? There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world. So yes, folks, yesterday was my day off. And of course, on the day back from my day off, I tell you about everything I did. Um, Basically, yesterday was a super busy day for me. Why? Got the neck crack. About to get into it. Why? He looks off. Phil looks out. We call these corner demons. He looks out and away and off. And I often think he's like processing what he's about to say in the moment. He's a bit of a fast thinker and talker in a way. Like, I don't think he thinks carefully before he speaks. So sometimes I think he catches himself saying something. And he's like, it's, it's almost like, um, because he's so manipulative and such a liar as well. It's almost like when you're, uh, at school and you're getting told off or something and you're sort of looking out the window and just sort of you know yeah i don't, I don't know yeah mm, yeah no, it, it doesn't set a very good tone he's wearing his i don't know what this shirt is looks like it's an image of an old car a, a red brick building some tropical trees cubana hotel cubanos some sort of cuban <laughs> Looks like wrapping paper from a Cuban Christmas or something. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, and he puts his logo in the corner, Phil's day off for this section. <laughs> so this is the, of all the th stuff Phil does, and he does a lot of stuff, of all the stuff he does, I want to cover Phil's day off on a weekly basis. It only happens once a week. So give me the, the benefit, please. Let's see if we can enjoy some time with Phil and his day off. Let's see what he's got for us. Let's see what he's going to talk about. Well, not only did I have to do all my usual stuff that I do on my day. Bearing in mind, this is a stream. This is what he calls a podcast. This is a stream. So this is content. It should be engaged and it should be interesting. Off, including grocery shopping and running errands. Grocery shopping, running errands. Okay, you don't always have to do that on your day off. If you know you're going to need the same shopping every day, you know, the same every week, which you should do by now, because, you know, you've been married to this woman and living in the same location and doing the same sort of thing, routine for years. Uh, maybe you could order it online if you're actually that busy and just have it delivered. Or you could click and collect. You know, there are options. There are modern ways to do it. But I also had to put in all the air conditioners in the house. Uh-oh. Which is no easy task when your blinds are all broken. Like mine are. Like, I'm not even kidding you. In every single room that I have to install air conditioning, my blinds are broken. Uh oh. Uh, no, his wife is not going to be coming back on the streams. Although she said she was, she's always made an excuse consistently for about three weeks and she's never going to. There's no way she's going to come back on the streams ever. Um, and what's this? Is this a sneak beg? His blinds are broken. Should we give you hundreds of pounds, Phil? Because in the last couple of months, you've spent over $10,000 on WWE Champions, a mobile Candy Crush wrestling game. <laughs> You randomly pull card packs to get the Golden Hogans, the Hulk Hogans, and he puts thousands of dollars into it. Over the last couple of weeks, he's had hundreds of dollars, exceeding the thousands. In the last month, he must have cleared a few thousand dollars easy, and it's all gone into pulling Hogans and the occasional bit of groceries and DoorDash. Uh, the man's an animal for that. So he doesn't need any more money. He's had the money already. If he can't pay for new blinds, then that's on him. <laughs> every room none of the blinds in the house even work anymore in this room i can't and things are falling apart in his life like this is a 
an analogy for the way his life is because he doesn't do the maintenance. <laughs> he's had the money. He's not done the maintenance. He will wait till it all falls apart, breaks and rots. He's got a bathroom in his house, a second bathroom. He's got two bathrooms, right? The second bathroom has been broken for maybe 10 years now. <laughs> He'll say it's because he hasn't got the money. I will contradict that. He'll say he hasn't got the time. He only has one day off a week. I'll also contradict that. Even pull up the blinds. If I do, they will be permanently stuck in the up position and you can't. If I pull up the blinds, they'll be permanently stuck in the up position. And we assume that you've pulled up the blinds and you've stuck them in the up position. Because I've seen blinds, there's a set behind me. If that happens, it's what you've done is, you've done something with the tie ropes and you've got it tangled. And that's what you've done. I would warrant the, the, the blinds are perfectly functional, but it requires a little bit of maintenance to just untangle them and get them, you know, working properly again. Uh, or maybe if you haven't done anything with them for years, they've like rotted and set into place. Maybe the black mold has taken over. Can't fix it because the the thing up there that you actually you know pull the wire on already snapped off and broke. What? That's the problem. The thing snapped off and broke. Well, that's to get them in the bin then. Just take them down and throw them away. You could replace that. Look like two years ago. Two years ago. Two years of no blinds. Like who lives like this? up there that you actually you know pull the wire on already snapped off and broke like two years ago and in that two years he spent upwards of like 50 grand on ww champions a mobile game with candy crush mechanics so in order to do these blinds not only do i have to frustratingly balance the insert that has to go into the sliding window what and then put foam and stuff. Oh, I see. For the this is the air conditioner setup. So they don't have a permanent air conditioning unit. He lives in Seattle, Washington, uh, Renton in that area. Um, exactly in, in Renton, <laughs> and uh, he uh, has to install this. It basically, it must be a portable air conditioning unit, and it goes into the window, doesn't it? And it sort of fits into the window. And then, as he says, there's a bit of padding. It's not that much of a deal, is it? It's like the mat. It's ten minutes work. Obviously, it's difficult. The blinds are in the way and you can't move them. <laughs> Bearing in mind, this is his podcast. So imagine I'd set up a, a, a thing behind me for a... Imagine just, for, you know, for example, I'd set up an air conditioning unit behind me for comfort. What I might do is just say, hi, welcome to the show. Check out the air conditioner. Did that today. Right, on with the show. Like, this is a story that's worth telling, apparently, for Phil. So let's see. In order to do these blinds, let's let him cook a bit. Blinds. Not only do I have to frustratingly balance the insert that has to go into the sliding window and then put foam and stuff in and tape it up, but I have to do this with blinds on my back because I have to lift them over my back <laughs> to do it. So I look like an asshole and it's a pain in the butt. And I get covered in dirt and everything. Like, ugh. But, you know, I got it done. It took, it took about two hours. One, fix the blinds. This is your this is your notification to fix the blinds. Two, why are they dirty? You live in this room every day. You stream in this room every day, six days a week. And like you get a cloth and you just go like that across the blinds. You get this ch and you go across it and then the, the cleaner. Like he knows about cleaning things. I don't have to explain it to him. Why why did you have to get yourself all dirty to do this? <laughs> And has he had a shower? You know he's had a shower because Phil has told us he doesn't use hair product. His hair just looks greasy and it gets greasier over a course of about four or five days. And then he has a shower and it looks puffy and, and all up again. Um, and it looks pretty puffy and up. So maybe he had a shower after this ordeal on his day off. Basically to put them all in. What I do is I have... Is my background sound too loud for this? I just realised I've got background music on while he's talking. How loud is that? Is that as quiet as it can be? Turn it down a little bit. Carry on, Phil. The, the weather foam that you can buy that you stick in the gaps, and then you have weatherproof tape. Let me let me tell you, weatherproof tape is so cool. I love this stuff. He's got up. He's off. He's up. He's off. Weatherproof tape is cool. Welcome to the show. My name's Dark Side Phil. I'm basically a video game streamer, and tonight I'll be streaming games in two sessions. This is what he should be doing obviously, on his show. Uh, I'll be streaming games, in for everyone that doesn't know, I'll be streaming games in two sessions. The first session will be this game. The second session will be this game. It's a bit of a funny bunch in chat, but, you know, join in if you 
can. And uh, we have a bit of uh, a fun, I suppose is the word for it, apparently. And okay, uh, has anyone got any questions? Uh, but instead, we're going to learn about weatherproof tape. Like his audience don't. They <laughs> If you wanted to talk about this, why didn't you have it ready? Where have you gone? Oh, he's back. Wait, wait, what was he wearing when he left? So cool. Where I the love this tape stuff. is so cool. Look, look, hang on. What's this? What's this under the shirt? Is he wearing checker jammies? Sometimes he wears the same pair of pajama pants all day, every day for a month. Um, checker jammies, or is that underwear? Is that shorts? It's an interesting cut underneath there. Has he got a second shirt on? Maybe I, I think it's checkered jammies. It looks check. It looks very checkered jammies to me. That does. What do you think? There's the back. There's the back end, or it might be grey or white. Is it the Zelda jammies? It maybe it, I think it's the Zelda jammies. It's the Zelda jammies. It says the word Zelda on it in little yellow letters. It's the Zelda jammies, isn't it again? Is it? Have they had too much of a wash that they lost their blue? It might just be some sort of doesn't it doesn't look like normal trousers, does it? This is too much. I'm doing too much of this. <laughs> Bit of DSP. This tape right here, which you can get at any this is the man who masturbated live on the internet by mistake while his webcam was on before the start of the show once. Hardware store or online is so effing good. It's thick like plastic, but it's malleable and easy to move, mold into like a corner or a shape where you need it to go. This shit- What are you doing? Kidnapping someone. <laughs> it sticks so well. And before I had weatherproof tape, I used to try other means to put these air conditioners in and it was like a nightmare. This stuff is the best. You've got to use it. And by the way, multi-use, they say it's weatherproof because you're supposed to tape windows up and stuff with it, but it does so much more. Like if you have a crack somewhere and you need to get that crack sealed up. A crack? <laughs> what are you talking about? What kind of crack would I have that I need to seal up? Are you being, are you being promote, are you someone promoted this? Did they give you a free roll of this at the at the uh, DIY center in exchange for promoting it on your show or something like is he going to uh, the next thing he's going to do is he's going to bring out one of those big bowls of water and he's going to fucking smack it on the big you got the water coming out and he's like hey look at that it seals that up or is it the case because Phil's very impressionable he's such a consumer when he was at the hardware store did someone say check out this video or did they have a big bowl of water and they stuck it on the seen it and he's like ah oh, this is great, this tape. I love this. Stick it on any crack. What crack do you need to seal up? Any suggestions in chat of a crack you might want to crack you might want to tape up in your domestic arrangement? <laughs> Anyone got a crack they might want to tape up? <laughs> He's got I won't well I'll let you I'll let you make the suggestions in chat. This shit is really good for that. Is it, Phil? Is it? If I've got a crack I need to tape up, it's really good for it. Thanks. I'm glad I tuned into your podcast before your gaming show. Like, what do you want about? So I strongly recommend weatherproof tape. Lifestyle, lifestyle tips with Phil. By the way, it's not even expensive. It's actually just a really reliable, remarkable product that I wish I knew more about earlier in my life. <laughs> this is why he's gold. This is, this is a remarkable, reliable product, and I wish I knew more about it earlier in my life. Life-changing, this tape. If I'd known more about this, then I wouldn't have had that unsealed crack blowing in all that wispy, cold air <laughs> all these years. That unsealed crack wouldn't have gone un unsealed all these years. That fucking crack covered in gaffer tape and bits of chewing gum. That damn crack. <laughs> Honey, have you got the car door closed? It's got that crack in it again, Phil. Like, she just got the window open with a little crack. Like, it won't go up any further. Ah, oh, what crack? What crack needs sealing? I can't understand. What crack has he sealed? It's just like... <laughs> what? I wish I'd known about this tape earlier in my life. It seems like it might have been more of a modern tape as well, this weatherproof tape, isn't it? Like, I, I imagine when I was young, it was just like packaging tape. You have the, the brown packaging tape. You have the white masking tape. You have the gaffer tape, the duct tape, duck D-U-C-K and duck D-U-C-T. It's the same, isn't it? It's all, it doesn't matter which one you say. It turns out one's a brand name. And Anyway, look, you've got all that tape. Then you've got the tape. 
And then you've got the electrical tape, which is stretchy and comes in different colours. And you've got a cassette tape and you've got a measuring tape. And you've got, um, can you, in chat, have you got any other types of tape? Has anyone got any other types of tape for me? Any any types of tape? Let's go. It's like an infomercial, isn't it? It's like an infomercial. Exactly, Seb, yeah. Except this is his, like, podcast. Before He's a gaming, gaming uh, YouTuber, I suppose. Gaming and YouTube. Like, he does some chit-chat sometimes. This is the chit-chat. <laughs> anyone got any other tapes? VHS tape? Betamax tape? Masking tape. You've, I think I said masking. <laughs> frog tape. Is frog a type of tape? Frog tape. I'll say it. You said frog, I'll say tape. Gaffer tape, masking tape, gaffer, VHS, VHS tape. Uh, in fact, any word you say, I'll put tape after for the next sort of three or four chats. So you can... It's up to you, really. I probably would have been using this shit for things forever. The only... I would have been using this shit for things forever. <laughs> You know, if I'd known about this tape, I'd have been using it forever. Of course. What are you talking about? <laughs> By the way, it's not even expensive. It's actually just a really reliable, remarkable product that I wish I knew more about earlier in my life. I probably would have been using this shit for things forever. The only drawback... He's smelling it! <laughs> the only drawback is that it smells funniest. <laughs> well, story of your life. You sweaty bastard. During my life, I probably would have been using this shit for things f forever. The only drawback, it stinks when you use it. Right now it's fine, but once you take it off and you try to put it on, you know, something, it's, it has a smell to it. The smell goes away after a bit, but it is kind of yucky. So, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, is there a drawback? But for the most part, it's a really, really useful product. Okay, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, I need to, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be um, completely convinced that I get a, an out of 10 or at least out of 5. You know, I, I need some sort of accurate gradient of score here. It's, we've given it a high praise, but we've also stated a drawback. So I don't know. Oh, it's life changing tape. It smells yucky. If I've got a crack I need ceiling, I'll remember that. Um, Check, He's checking the chat there. No. So, uh, yeah. Packing tape also stinks like chemical. You would never want to use packing tape on your window. That would never <laughs> Feel all over. Someone said packing tape smells like chemicals and disparaging of his audience. You would never want to use packing tape on your windows, you fucking idiot. What are you saying? You, you tape novice. You would never want to use packing tape on your windows. Well, you get out of my chat. Yeah. Packing tape also stinks. Sex, I'll tell you what, that's a good one. Sex tape. I like that. Sex tape, well done, blank faces. Back in the day, wasn't it? Like, it's still died out a bit now. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian's a robot. Kim Kardashian did a sex tape, didn't she? Um, but, like, they used to do sex tapes all over the show, didn't they? I like that one. Tapey tape, muck tape. Tape face is a real person. They're an entertainer. Wig tape, I like. Gorilla tape. Andrew tape. Is that a person? <laughs> Waxing tape. With your hair is. Like chemical, you would never want to use packing tape on your window. That would never work. <laughs> packing tape that will never, never work. You need this stuff. This stuff's good. <laughs> you uh, need this stuff. And follow my affiliate link, and I get you ten percent off. <laughs> um. So yeah. So it took me like two hours. I put all three of them it in. Took me two hours, even with that tape. What you have to do is you have to move over. You have to take out the the air conditioning unit from wherever you store it. Okay. Assuming it's in a box, you unpack it from the box. Okay. This is taking like five minutes. It's the same system as you've always done every year. Everything's all set as it's supposed to be. So, you, okay, for Phil, he has to get under the blind, right? Take this item from the floor, place it in the window. Now it's tape time. The job is done. <laughs> Plug that bitch in. Air condition away. What do you want me to do? I've got to get out from under this dirty thing. Right, now the job is done. Right. No, I'm not going to clean that. Leave it. Um, the, uh, it's, not that, it's not that of an ordeal, is it? Every room in the house? Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you, Phil? You put an air conditioning unit in every room in the house, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, didn't you? Yeah. No, you didn't. You put it in this room because this is your room. You must have put it in the bedroom because Kat sleeps in there and she's going to be disturbed. 
maybe in the lounge because you sleep in there and you, you, <laughs> that's it's gonna be it you're not gonna be the kitchen the bathroom other rooms like they're not the, the other rooms aren't even utilized and the uh, spare bathroom's broken so like it's not every room it, maximum i'm gonna say two i'm gonna say two the bedroom in this room two probably turned them on and by the way we, we rotated them around we rotated them around so i took extra time where now we have the bigger air conditioner is in the bedroom across the hall down the hall and then we have the two smaller air conditioners on this end so i have the one in my office two three yeah so it's it's one in the bedroom one in his office one in the lounge so it's not what he said <laughs> it doesn't take <laughs> it's not two hours work to put up three air conditioning units in your own house that you put up every year across the hall down the hall and then we have the two smaller air conditioners on this end so i have the one in my office and one over like this sort of attitude would really fuck you off if you were his boss wouldn't it boss um because what would happen is right i can say whatever the fuck i want and you like it or you shut the fuck up what would happen is uh you'd say so what have you been doing for the last two hours and so i've set up the air conditioning units and he'd be like yeah that was on the list what have you been doing for the last two hours? You'd be like, well, I've set up the air conditioning units. I had to do one in the thing, and I went to one in there, and explain about the tape. And you'd be like, okay, but I do that, and it takes me like 15, 20 minutes. Then you can have a cigarette break, and then you've got an hour and a half to carry on with the job. What have you been doing for the last hour? Like, do you know what I mean? It just really, really annoy me. Um, these buttons I'm pressing, these are all dark side fill. There's too many fucking idiots. <laughs> From his own stream. Super tougher. Including my name. Super tougher. Oh yeah, I've been shouted out. Super tougher. I got myself a button. Super tougher. Love it. We're in the room across there. They'll be blowing the air down the hallway while that big one is blowing it out of the bedroom. So all three rooms will be cool. And that's going to push the air down the staircase into the bottom floor. We cannot put an air conditioner it's downstairs. Again. I couldn't be happy. Seb, Seb, Seb. Seb. And then flush. Tape Cox, Tape Cox. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Dot LL. Tippy's tape. Super Chuffer O's three hugs. Thank you very much, Seb. Thank you. Tippy's tape. I might have to change that picture. It's a bit black and white, isn't it? Um, not everything's black and white, you know. Uh, a bit more jazzy, snazzy today. Uh, like his shirt. <laughs> his system doesn't... I, I thought the way it worked is it sucks air out, like the hot air out. Like, you know, when the air conditioning... I thought you, the reason it's attached to the window is to remove the hot air. And in doing so, it cools... I mean, I might be wrong. I don't have one in the UK. Um, but he's got... He thinks that the system is going to suck air through and down. Hot air rises, so the hot air will be higher up, I guess. I mean, I don't know if he's... Basically, you're going to put those air conditioning units in the windows where they go. And that's the story, isn't it? I don't think you need to have, like, a sort of system of complex physics going on. Well, if we if we place the bigger one here, then it's going to create a vacuum, and then the vacuum will draw air through the stairwell. Like, no, it's just you're going to just put them in the. If they didn't create a vacuum and draw the air through the house, you're still going to put those ones in the windows where they go, and that's it. <laughs> Convincing yourself you live in some sort of Star Trek, like, you know, <laughs> physics system with like the air is going to create this flow. We put up some uh, little pinwheels so we can see them going to check that that's happening we've got a wind sock over here um testing the measurements <laughs> no adjust adjust the uh adjust the fan in the bedroom we need to create more suction have you got the, have you got the kitchen door open it's it's uh it's ruining the airlock <laughs> why we literally don't have uh, a phil is serious phil is dead serious he's a narcissist delusional narcissist and he lives his own in his own um he's not like steve's a big uh dark side field attractor Steve off Steve of the Dead off um, thus big ups red fan thank you very much for the gifted memberships I see some classic faces picking those up big ups you chuffers uh, there is members content on this channel and there will be more of course there always is um, the uh, yeah he's a serious man but he's a narcissist living in his delusional dream world and he doesn't socialize much and he talks to a very strange small group of people on the internet and indulges himself in his own methodology and way of life uh, you know, he's not having to... I mean, he's working because he's online grifting, but he plays computer games and says to the audience, listen, it's been a slow day, where's my tips? <laughs> like, that's what he does for a living. So um, he sort of convinces himself that he's actually quite an important, serious businessman with lots of serious things to do to convince the audience of that in a way so that he can feel better about it. Oh, that's what's happening here. <laughs> window that opens. In our living room, we have... Like, bear in mind, like I said, I've been pausing it a lot, but this is his day off segment for his podcast. He's had a day off, and 
this is his podcast before he gets into the he calls it a podcast um it's not a podcast but <laughs> he calls it a podcast and he uh, this is a segment in his podcast for the audience to hear that he thought this is a good idea to talk about this for an extended period of time <laughs> this is the man case into the bottom floor we cannot put an air conditioner downstairs why we literally don't have a window that opens in our living the air down the hall and turned them on and by the way we, we rotated them around where now we have the bigger air conditioner is in the bedroom across the hall down the hall and then we have the two smaller air conditioners on this end so i have the one in my office and one over in the room across there i wonder if this is what took two hours is he got them out and then he talked for an hour and a half about where they should go and what should happen. And then he fitted them. They'll be blowing. Or by that point, his wife had got so tired of the conversation that she'd fitted them. Air down the hallway. And he critiqued where she'd put them. While that big one is blowing it out of the bedroom. So all three rooms would be cool. And that's going to push the air down the stairs. And obviously the big one in the bedroom because she's in the bedroom. It's hot in the bedroom. Give her the big one. Yes. Staircase into the bottom floor. And the air goes down the staircase to where you live. In the land of cuck, <laughs> sleeping in the basement floor somewhere so the smell doesn't waft up so she can get a good night. We cannot put an air conditioner downstairs. Why? We literally don't have a window that opens. In our living room, we have two big windows that are considered bay windows. They don't open. So you can't put an air conditioner in there. And then we have a back door that's just a sliding door. You would never it's fit an air conditioner again. in there. Nick sent tippies. And then floosh. Pension day. Big ups. Light spliff. Super chuffer owes three hugs. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I'm going to change it to a more jazzy picture. Um, thank you very much for the tippies. Um, to switch to tab, have I got the tab? Oh, I've got the tab open there. Look. Yeah. Okay. Move that out. Uh, we'll watch this in a minute. I promise you that as well. Philip and some classic this morning. It might get me copyright classic this morning, but the curse of this morning. It's a short video. I want to have a look at that. Um, Phil's day off will continue now, right now. It's unbelievable though, isn't it, that this conversation is taking up a segment in his, I still can't, you know, the decision making of the man. You're in there and then we have a back door that's just a sliding door. You, you don't know if you can cope with this guy for much longer, sorry. We're going to listen to his day off and then we're going to move on. Right? It's not my fault that he talks about this on his day off. It's not that long, it's only another two, two minutes, so don't worry. You never fit an air conditioner in there. It's too tall. So you can't, there's no air conditioning available downstairs. We're just stuck with this kind of stagnant air down there. So what we do is we have the three. In America, I don't know what the situation is, but if you, I think he owns the property. So can't he just fix that by changing the window if he wants or anything? Air conditioners upstairs. And then we turn on our air system and it circulates the air through the house, through the vents. And we bought really high grade air filters that filter out all kinds of disgusting shit. Like this annoys me. Okay, in a in a trapped environment, an air filter may work. I think it's a bit of a con though, because you're gonna filter the air, which means the air must stay in the room, yeah? Like if you filter the air and then open the door, doesn't the air just go out the door and then you've got bad air in again? Won't it very quickly mix? So if you're running air conditioning, won't you be drawing in air? Don't the filters have to go on the input of the air? Maybe that's what he's got. But if it's just a box in the room that filters the air and you are constantly drawing the air out, it's a useless box that's doing nothing. Like pollen and soot and pet dander and all that stuff. Now, if you were in a small cupboard and you put the air filter on, you would notice it because you're trapped in the environment with it. It's filtering the air. But if you're in a larger environment, it has, you know, it's got to filter the air and the air cannot be changing because the filtered air will go out the door and the new air will come in. <laughs> what? So we get clean, I don't believe in it, but yeah. Clean air throughout the house, even though the air conditioners are blasting and taking all that shit in from the outside, it's basically the air gets double filtered through the air conditioner, then through the vent system. And it's actually pretty good. So, um, yes, soot, because we have wildfires. Someone just said soot. Yeah, we have wildfires where sometimes we get for a week really disgusting soot filled air and we need them to be filtered through our uh, our system here. So interesting. Might be a fact. Anyway, um, it's all in effect. And it took about, like I said, two hours of my day yesterday to do that. In addition to that, I still had to go out and get groceries and pets. Still had to go to the supermarket and go to the pet supplies. Supplies. Pet supplies is a weekly thing that he claims he does. I personally, and this is me a detractor Scotty Otter here. This is a Scotty theory. I personally think that Dark Side Phil goes to PetSmart and uses it as some sort of cash conversion because he spends a lot of money there. 
Like, we know how much money he spends because they leaked his bank details online. Um, so he spends a lot of money at this pet smart, right? And you see, you know, he's got to buy this stuff for Jasper, his, his cat. He's got to buy cat food and litter and stuff. Okay, yeah, I get it. But he spends a lot of money there. And I wonder if he doesn't, like, get a... I, I think they sell iTunes cards and things like that at places like that. I, I think they do. And I wonder if he doesn't buy something like that and exchange it for cash with someone for another product somewhere along the line. Um, hmm. It's a very strange, repeated... Every day off, got to go to PetSmart. You'd think I could get a month's worth of pet stuff in one and just stock it up in the stick it in the, the garage, you know? I, I don't know why he needs so many routine, regular trips to PetSmart. Uh, but yeah, PetSmart and the groceries. I don't know if it's even true that he's done that. He might not have done that. And, uh, oh yeah, I picked up something from, from like a pickup, from a store pickup. A store pickup? Hmm. I wonder what that is. A store pickup. That's when you order something on the internet, isn't it? And then you have to go into the store to get it. So it's not a small item that they can easily deliver through your letterbox. It might be a bigger item or a more expensive item that they want you to sign for in some way. Um, so that's interesting. Or it could be... Um, like he, he could have click and collected the supermarket shopping, like I said. Like it would make so much sense. He eats the same stuff every week and all that business. Like why not just get the same order on the click and collect and then when you're there, maybe pick up a few different bits. Uh, from online stuff and you know the usuals mm, you let that slide under the radar some online stuff that he's bought mm. came home unpacked the groceries ordered some food we ended up ordering some hawaiian barbecue because you know what i mean like this man has spent ages telling you about the blinds and the uh the air conditioning and then there's been a reasonably interesting purchase i would warrant like something expensive or large maybe that he's had to go and pick up and that's just yeah and i just also did that you'd think he'd spend more time talking about the new purchase which is always so. I think he's been trying to hide it. He fucking loves the Hawaiian barbecue. He's not. He, maybe that's the reason for the shirt. They they love the Hawaiian barbecue. Um, unpacked the groceries, ordered some food. We ended up order ordered it, so it's been door dashed in. Bring some Hawaiian barbecue, which is always delicious. I I got a uh, what did I get? I got a seafood combo. It was like a couple shrimp and a piece of white fish and uh some katsu curry. That's what he had for his dinner. Yeah, the you know, chicken katsu, but with the, the, the freaking curry sauce on top. Oh, my God. That stuff is so, so good. Oh, my God. Oh. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it, or you shut the fuck up. Um, And then, uh, after that, we ended up watching. Well, actually, I take that back. My wife. Bearing in mind, this is his one day a week to spend with his wife. He complains about this a lot. He has a very tight schedule on the old streaming. Six days a week, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> Six days a week, and uh, he only gets one day off to spend with his wife. So you would think it might. What well, if it was me? I'd probably want to spend this amount of time. Like you know, the katsu curry. I'd scarf that down, and then I'd be like, right, it's time for sex. <laughs> it's the one day off a week. Look, <laughs> I don't care what you want to watch on Netflix. <laughs> you can watch it at the same time. I don't care. Just give me the back end then. <laughs> But what's Phil going to occupy this time with this wonderful romantic evening with his wife? Basically finished up Fallout 4. Fallout 4. For her second time. She's been playing on the Xbox. That sounds fun. This time around, she sided with the Brotherhood. The first time around when she played it years ago, she played. She sided with the uh, Railroad. This time she sided with the Brotherhood. I bet she sided with the Brotherhood. <laughs> I've seen videos like that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Phil <laughs> What happened on the day off? Maybe there was some sex. <laughs> Don't think Phil was involved in it though. Years ago she played she sided with the uh railroad. This time she sided with the Brotherhood. <clears throat> and so she got to see the different plot lines with with uh Paladin dance and everything. And you know, it was interesting. She like she she likes the game but hates that the endings aren't definitive endings like they are in the other fallout games in this game you get like a little bit of story and it's like oh the game just continues like, huh what's the ending well there is none just keep playing oh well that's not really an ending then is it and there really is no definitive ending in fallout 4 okay nice day off with your wife um i do have to quickly argue that there is a definitive ending in fallout 4 you make a really like important decision and 
decide who's going to be the faction that takes power and control essentially so like most fallout games you make the big decision at the end and then there's an ongoing radiant quests if you want it you can keep up to date with your settlements but there is a, a, a like if you've missed it that's more on you than it is on fallout 4 so watch her do that and then so you watched her you you watched your wife play video games you watched your wife play video games this is your important day off, your one day off a week to spend together, and you watched her play video games. The video games that you, you've played that video game yourself twice on your stream. Then. Then. <laughs> what you were then doing is pulling Hulk Hogan pictures on your phone, spending money on the, you're not watching a you're bored of the video game, you're sat in the lounge, maybe, or maybe you're on your own, gone, you know, into the into the uh, office, wanking and pulling Hogan's. That's what you're actually doing. Now you're trying to make up something. You did house cleaning because basically what happened was, when what? <laughs> I put the air conditioner in, in that other room, all right? My wife's like, oh man, what a mess, we should clean the room out, so we did, but then it was like spring cleaning, so we ended up spending like another chunk of the day taking stuff out of that room, tossing it in the garage for when I go to the dump to throw out, and just cleaning up and, you know, vacuuming the house and everything. Well, so this was earlier in the day. We, we've had the door dash. Did you do this cleaning earlier in the day, or did you do it after you've eaten your dinner? I'm, I'm confused, Phil. So, honestly, I, I mean, it was, was it a day off? Did your wife spend the evening having sex with another man while you clean the spare room? Is that what happened? Yeah. Was it really a good day off where we did a lot that was enjoyable? No. No. I mean, I got to watch my wife play some Fallout 4 and we had a good dinner and that was about it. Um, a lot of the day was a lot of work. I got to watch my wife play Fallout 4. <laughs> Come on now, Phil. <laughs> We're a similar age, me and Phil. I mean, I'm not married, but I think I'm in a slightly better position because if I was married and I spent my one day off a week watching her play a video game... <laughs> We did also have a nice dinner that we got from the takeaway. Um, back to the grind, I suppose. And by the end of the day, I was so... We were both so exhausted. We actually went to bed early. Exhausted because you'd moved some boxes and set up the air conditioning unit, eaten your dinner and watched a play Fallout. And passed out. Like, normally we don't... Passed out. Must have been drinking heavy in the day as well then, yeah? Do that. Normally it's like, oh, it's time for bed. All right. Well, I mean, we'll watch some stuff online or, you know. We were dead tired. We were boop, out. Boop. Boop. Big ups injured cold. Watch some stuff online or, you know, we were dead tired. We were boop. Ow. Boop. Big up snood. Big ups injured cold. I'm, I think they would both like that. Oh. <laughs> we were <laughs> online or, you know, we were dead tired. We were boop. Ow. <laughs> we did so much work. Sippy sip. We did so, they were dead tired because they'd done so much work. So that was our thrilling day off yesterday. That was your Not too much off. to talk. Look at your thrilling head shape. Look at that, that's one for the books. <laughs> Your thrilling head show. About in that regard, but what was fascinating about yesterday. That was just a lean in ban. He just leant over and found someone in chat that he needed to remove. So got a little he doesn't even get distracted when he does it anymore. Please note or did he change this screen? Was it that? Please note the level one podcast border. What did he just do? Oh he did, that was what it was. We've gone from Phil's day off to the level one podcast again. We're back to the podcast now, so that was only a segment in the podcast, Phil, stay off it. I mean, as long as the border makes it clear, I'm sure you'll... Not too much to talk about in that regard, but what was fascinating about yesterday was the amount of game news. There was a ton of news to talk the about. The amount of game news. So now we're back into the podcast. I'm not going to listen to the game news, nor will ha you have to. That's the end of Phil on my show for this week. But uh, Well, maybe I'll do more Phil this week sometime. You know, I do watch a lot of Phil, and I am a detractor, but I'm like bitty and pe salt and peppery with, with Phil. Um more consistent with Alan, aren't I? But like, I do watch and, you know, I, I have my, my thoughts and feelings about this. And I do love, for me, I do love the day off segments. So I think I'll continue doing them, I think. Right. Oh, look, the chicks. We keep, look, the chicks. It's night time now, look. The sun's gone down. Check this out, though. The chicks are all snuggled up. But Mommy is just like, she don't even have to huddle with them anymore, look. They actually are warmth from each other. And she's sort of just having a little bit of a break. 